you might say, what happens if uh, I need more than just these four uh, thermocouple channels available at the back here? I want, let's say, eight EGTs. What then we do is we go to what we call an external amplifier, where we have a little box like this, and we have other a uh, different style four channel amplifier also, and it plugs into two of these analog channels, these zero to five volt analog channels. So you plug that in there. You tell it, uh, you plug your thermocouples in here. So you got thermocouple connections just like what was on the back of the, uh, the datamite 3. Now, if you have our datamite mini, it's the same concepts as this. You have a power input, you have a uh, USB input, you got your lights here to tell you you're communicating. You have a six pin connector just like the RPMs here, and this is where the one or two RPMs can go into this connector. And then we have two analog inputs. This would be like it could be for those external thermocouple amps, which is real common to get a couple temperatures, or uh, a position or a torque reading from a load cell or something. So that's what a data my mini looks like. And again, you can get the weather station internal. Uh, we have a fan here. Now, if you bought a vehicle system, data mites are used on vehicles, also drag racing, and uh, dyno or uh, circle track and road racing. There'd be some differences. First thing is, you would uh, you probably be going to an MSD type input, and you can do this on a dyno also. And again, you just plug it in here, like that. And uh, a nice thing for troubleshooting is you can check with this system to see if you're getting RPM signal. If you just go like that, you're going to get RPM readings. Very nice for for troubleshooting and stuff. Uh, you'd be getting a power connector like this that would plug power in on a vehicle into that six pin connector there through this and you may want to put a, an on off switch in the red wire there so you can power on power this on and off another thing about a vehicle system is there's an accelerometer built in here and you can get weather also but there's an three axis accelerometer built in here and in the software I mean in your vehicle you're gonna mount this this way this way this way this way you can mount it just about any way possible and just tell the software how you've got it mounted. It's got all the options with pictures shown. And then the software is going to know that if you mount it like this and that's the front of the car, it's going to know this is front to bad acceleration, this is left to right acceleration, and this is up and down acceleration. And you do that by telling the software how you got it mounted in the, in the car. With a vehicle system, road race, drag race, you record your data on a little, little SD card. And it goes right into the slot here. And the other thing, when you get done recording, you're going to pull it out and go and take it to the computer and just plug it in. So the downloading is very fast. But the other thing is you're going to have this, instead of a, it's going to be sort of like a recording switch. But you're going to be having a, uh, this type of toggle switch in the car. When it's, when you see the light here, you know it's got power. When you see it flashing, it says I'm in standby mode, ready to record. You flip it up into that position and it says I am recording. And it will record until the segment that you've put on the the segment on the uh, SD card is full, or until you turn it off. Now the SD card is huge memory-wise, so you will probably never fill up a segment. So it's realistically it's going to record until you turn it back to off, and uh, then you're done. Now an important thing to realize here is, if you don't have the SD card in, you're also not going to get a response here. So you need to have the SD card, and if you see this, and you say, oh, there's no power, but you see power to the box there from that LED, you got to realize it needs both power and the SD card in before it's going to say, I'm ready to go. A couple other differences with the vehicle box is that we have rubber isolators because generally they're in a lot more high vibration environment, and you can also have a GPS sensor here. That would uh, GPS would plug into this DB9 that you can see is not well, it's not on this one here. So we put that extra in there, that extra connector. Now what I'm going to show now is we've got our RPMs channels plugged in. I just want to show you how to quickly check for troubleshooting again. Let's say you were getting you weren't sure if something was working. Here we have a magnetic sensor. This magnetic sensor, the small 516 thing under one, will trigger on either side of a magnet. And as you see. When I wipe the magnet by here, let me let me put this on so you can see what I'm doing. 
this 5 16th diameter sensor will trigger on either side of the magnet. We have bigger diameters that are a little more expensive that won't trigger on one side. But you see when I wipe the magnet back and forth across it, you maybe can't see that, but I am getting a response. Now, if you go like this, like turning a dyno wheel real slow, you can see I don't get a response. You've got to go back and forth fairly fast to get a response. But that's how you troubleshoot a sensor like that. Remember, you got to go fairly fast or you'll get no response. Now, if you want to check an inductive picket to see if you're getting a signal, what I've done here is we're going to fake a signal to this purple wire. The easiest way to do it is push a stick pin down through the shrink tube so it gets down to the metal wire, the metal fibers of this uh, copper wire here. Got a stick pin down in there and just go over the upper left corner. Yeah, upper left corner of our analogs have a 5 volt power supply there, power. And if you just, again, tap, you can't just hold it, you got to tap it. And again, you can see now I'm getting a response on engine RPM, indicating that the system seems to be working. So that is a couple of nice ways to troubleshoot uh, RPM channels.